My partner Jose and I propose that the minimum legal drinking age be amended from 21 years old to 18 years old, effective January 2014. 18 year olds are legal adults and therefore should be prevent, not be prevented from partaking in mature adult activities. 18 year olds can die for their country, they cannot drink a beer with their battle buddies or their comrades. We are willing to put our 18 to 20 year olds in harm's danger to fight for our freedoms, yet we are not willing to partake or participate in one of the most important freedoms in our country's history. Christopher Columbus brought sherry, which is a distilled uh, alcoholic beverage, with him when he came to the New World. Also, <clears throat> upon fleeing England, the Puritans brought more beer with them than water on the ship. Early, early settlers consumed more alcoholic beverages than water due to its nutritional value and its germ-killing ability. Young men and women have served our country's military for over 200 years. In Vietnam, there were over 225,000 American casualties aged less than 20 years old. <clears throat> also, 18-year-olds are able to buy, buy and smoke cigarettes when they're 18 years old. In a study done by the National Health or Institute of Health from a sample group of over 1,500 18-year-olds, it was shown that 34.1% smoke cigarettes. Cigarettes potentially have more severe health implications in the future than alcohol, alcohol does. A study done in Europe indicated that 15.9% of occasional smokers, male smokers, will contract lung disease. Less than five cigarettes a day which is less than five cigarettes a day for occasional smokers. 24.9% of heavy male smokers, which is, more than, which is more than five a day, will contract lung cancer at some point in their life. As well as only 10% of heavy drinkers and alcoholics contract some sort of liver disease at some point in their life, <clears throat> which a heavy drinker uh, qualifies as more than two to five drinks a day. 18-year-olds are a part of the real world and are held accountable for their actions and the, the decisions that they make. They can serve on a jury and convict their peers. They can buy pornography and act in pornographic movies. They can go to jail and be sentenced to death. They can vote and influence who our leaders are. They can buy a firearm. And there are no do-overs for 18 to 18-year-olds. 18 we trust them with these responsibilities, yet keep them from partaking in alcohol consumption. The next point I make is that alcohol is a forbidden fruit to those who are underage. And those, those people who in, uh, partake in underage drinking see it as a, ri a risk that excites them. Allowing 18 and 20 year olds to drink legally forces them to be responsible. And because they are held accountable for their actions, they will be forced to drink without fear of getting caught. 18 to 20 year olds who are unable to drink legally, drink in secret, and will not readily call for a ride home or seek medical attention because they fear from getting in trouble. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention states that 8% of underage teens drank or drove after drinking alcohol. 24% row with a driver who had been drinking alcohol. If those 18 to 20 year olds have been able to drink legally, they would be more likely to call their parents or call a sober friend to come pick them up. Also, if 18 to 20 year olds are able to drink, they would be able to drink in a safe environment like a restaurant or somewhere they're supervised by their peers and by law enforcement or other authorities. This, this will allow them to learn their tolerance and, limit, and their limits in a responsible, controlled environment. My next point is that lowering the drinking age will create a safer, healthier society in the United States. The laws that we currently have on alcohol consumption are unreasonable and ineffective. Even though the law clearly states a person must be 21 or older to purchase alcohol, young people seem to get their hands on it. A survey by the American Medical Association shows that two out of three teens 
age 13 to 18, said it, said it is easy to get alcohol from their homes without parents knowing about it. One of them responded that it is easy to obtain alcohol from their own parents knowingly, <clears throat> which increases to 40% when it is from a friend's parent, and one in four teens have attended a party where minors are drinking in front of their parents. Mark Beckner, the chief police of <clears throat> in Border, uh, Boulder, Colorado, which is a college town, said, stated that no matter how much they enforce the law, it still remains in ineffective. They can find a party on just about any day of the weekend where underage drinking takes place and write everyone a ticket, yet the same thing will happen the next week. Gordy Bailey, who was an 18-year-old freshman at the University of Colorado, underwent a fraternity initiation, which required him to drink 10 gallons of alcohol in half an hour. He later passed out and died of alcohol poisoning. The reason why his, his fraternity brothers did not call for help was because it was illegal and they were afraid of the consequences. When drinking is made legal for anyone under the age of 21 and over 18, drinking takes place in public rather than unsafe places. Police, security guards, and health workers can then supervise it. You can monitor the drinking instead of them hiding it from the authorities. Raising the drinking age may have reduced deaths of 18 to 20 year olds, but it resulted in more deaths among people 21 to 24. Since 1982, two years prior to the Uniform Drinking Age Act establishing the minimum legal drinking age of 21, a decline of drunk driving fatalities occurred across all age groups and demographic categories. So this, our opponents will point to that when this, uh, when the legal drinking age was raised 21, that uh, fatalities and uh, accidents went down, but in fact it had already been going down before that was made. <clears throat> the drinking age of 21 only makes it more dangerous. Since many people between the ages of 18 and 20 don't know when they will have their next drink, they often binge drink, which can result in other serious problems. Less, or less important yet um, helpful benefits of the drinking age will be that there will be a boost in financial gain and revenue. Bars, grocery stores, restaurants, and other places that sell alcohol would really benefit from the increased sales, which would boost the area that these businesses are located. This can easily be uh, enacted. Restaurants will be able to uh, check IDs for 18 instead of 21, and scanners will, will be able to be reprogrammed in, or efficiently to check for uh, driver's license. Thank you.